So, Last of Us is a complete mess on PC, and even though I made a video yesterday kind of clowning on people who were upset about the port, not the, not upset about the state of the port itself, but just, you know, the usual fanboys, the usual suspects upset that the port exists in the first place, I felt the need to make a follow-up video because as much as I support PlayStation bringing their games to PC, as much as I support games no longer being exclusive, this port should not have come out. It is a complete mess, and I felt compelled to make a video on the current state of PlayStation ports on PC as a whole. And I apologize if this video is rambly, if this video is kind of unfocused, because I'm not doing this scripted. I just have a few bullet points on in a second monitor. And frankly, I'm recording this while playing Valorant because I make my best rants while I'm just occupying my hands with something that I hate doing, but I can't stop myself from doing, hence the Valorant. But as much as I complain about Sony, as much as I complain about PlayStation, I do genuinely want to see their ports come to PC. And they I feel like they had a good string of ports at first. You know, I feel like God of War and Death Stranding are kind of like the poster childs for good PlayStation ports. God of War ran excellently and the game performed well. Death Stranding was... You know, it ran well, the game performed well, and Days Gone was a game that, you know, hardly anyone gave a shit about it. It's not exactly a game that performed well, but the PC port was a huge hit. So it's not like these games just don't have potential. It's not like these games need to be, you know, the absolute highest of quality in order to perform well even. I think that point was even further exacerbated by games like Horizon Zero Dawn, which had a, a laundry list of issues on PC. That was not a very good port. In fact, up until Last of Us, I think Horizon was the worst PC port to date for PlayStation first party games. But that port still sold very well. And it's doing pretty well on Steam. And you know, same with Spider-Man. You know, I could be wrong. I think Spider-Man is the best selling PlayStation game on PC so far. But a lot of people forget that Spider-Man actually had a decent amount of performance issues at launch, and it still has a number of performance issues. I played through it a few months ago, and it still has a decent number of performance issues, mainly regarding the CPU. You know, there's a bit of stuttering, and the CPU usage is definitely a bit high for a game like that, but it's slowly being ironed out. It wasn't really until Uncharted and Sackboy that I think Sony really stopped giving a shit with their PC ports, because Uncharted and Sackboy had a lot of the same problems. Both of them were marketed extremely poorly, both of them were franchise games that for some reason did not include the previous games in the franchise. For Sackboy it was less of a problem because Sackboy is associated with Little Big Planet and Little Big Planet obviously is a very different kind of game than Sackboy. But Uncharted 4, being the first entry in the franchise to get a PC port, especially when it was so poorly marketed, that was just a baffling decision to me. And on top of that, the pricing of these games was all out of whack. Because correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm I'm pretty sure games like God of War, Spider-Man, Horizon, they launched at below full price, you know, $40, maybe $50 if I'm remembering that wrong. But they definitely did not launch on PC at full price. Meanwhile, Uncharted 4 and Sackboy, both of those games launched on Steam at a full $60, and I have no idea why. Both of those are bargain bin games. You could walk into any GameStop in the country and find Uncharted 4 in the bargain bin. You can find pretty much every Little Big Planet game in the bargain bin, but they're launching on PC at $60, which makes absolutely no sense, especially when you consider the fact that Uncharted 1 through 3 were really what people wanted. I have no idea why Sony started their Uncharted PC ports with the Legacy of Thieves collection instead of the Nathan Drake collection, but that's just the beginning of Sony not caring. You know, Uncharted and Sackboy were where they started to not care. I think Returnal is where they really threw it in your face just how much they don't care. Because Returnal had a handful of technical problems at launch. To my understanding, they were patched out rather quickly. To my and from everything I know, I haven't played Returnal on PC, but from everything that I've seen, Returnal's PC port is very good, and also, from everything I've seen, the game itself is excellent. And the PC community has a massive, massive roguelite scene. Roguelite? Roguelike? I don't know which one to use half the time. The PC community fucking loves those kinds of games. So you here you have this game that underperformed on the PlayStation. Returnal did not do very well on the PS5. You know, as, you know at least compared to other first-party Sony games. So giving it a nice, juicy PC port, which, you know, had a handful of issues, but nothing game-breaking, nothing that would prevent people from really flocking to it had it been marketed better, and yet you barely promoted it. I made a whole video about this when it happened, but Sony didn't even acknowledge Returnal's PC port until like a day after it came out. They tweeted about it like a couple times in the months leading up to the launch, but once Returnal actually launched on PC, it took the official 
PlayStation Twitter page like a full 24 hours to even tweet about it. It's like they genuinely forgot this port was coming out, which is baffling to me because again, this is a game that would have done fucking gangbusters on the PC. And it just shows how little Sony seems to understand the PC market. I say it all the time in my videos, but they have this giant list of IP that people would absolutely love to buy that they're for some reason making it as difficult as possible for us to enjoy on this platform. And it doesn't make any sense. Like, has the PC community not already proven that these games will do well? God of War sold amazing, Spider-Man sold amazing, Horizon sold amazing, Days Gone sold amazing, Death Stranding sold amazing. It's like only, only after you started seeing that there was money to be made in quality PC ports did you stop making quality PC ports. And it's the most recurring problem with Sony and all of their studios that as soon as they start doing well, they stop trying. They prove themselves, they put in the effort in the early games, they really prove themselves to be worth your time and worth your money. And then like a year or two later, they just stop trying because they think they've already won. This is a constant issue with Sony and pretty much every company associated with them. And I dare you to prove me wrong. But that brings us to The Last of Us. This port is a complete fucking disaster. And as happy as I am that my video on people freaking out about the port is doing as well as it is, I almost feel gross keeping this video up because I didn't mention how poor the PC port ran. And that's not because I was ignoring it, it was because, you know, I at the time that I made that video, we just didn't know yet. I made that video like within an hour of the game going live. Like these issues just weren't made clear yet, but even still, I just feel gross that this video is doing as well as it is and that it's still up with no mention of those issues. If you want all of the heavy details about the PC port, I point you towards Alex's video on the subject because he explains things in much better detail than I could and you know he gives you every detail that you could ever need about why exactly this port is performing so poorly. But the too long didn't read is that this port was handled by Iron Galaxy, which is the same company that did the Arkham Knight port to PC, the Arkham Origins port to PC, the Uncharted 4 port to PC, which obviously wasn't nearly as bad as some of their other work, but still had some pretty obvious issues that other PC ports for PlayStation games simply didn't have. Most of the good PlayStation ports have been handled by Nixus. And I really don't know why Sony didn't, I don't know if it's Sony or Naughty Dog that made this decision, but whoever decided to bring Iron Galaxy in to port Sony's most hyped PC port to date needs to be fired. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. This is a company that has proven time and time again, they do not understand modern PC ports. So why would you entrust them with your most important port to date? This company has continuously proven that they don't know how to do PC ports up to modern standards. And keep in mind, this was delayed. Originally, The Last of Us was going to launch on PC on March 3rd. And the only reason I remember that was because that March 3rd is my birthday. And I thought it was funny that this game that I find so obnoxious was actually launching on my platform of choice on my birthday after all these years. But anyways, this game was delayed by almost four whole weeks for polish. And this is still what we ended up with. And I really don't know who to put the blame on. You know, ultimately the blame does fall on Sony. Every major decision that happens with Sony, obviously, you know, the buck stops with them. But as for the bulk of the blame, I don't know who to blame here. And I tweeted yesterday that I kind of feel bad for Naughty Dog because there were a whole bunch of people at Naughty Dog, including Neil Druckmann, which, you know, you can't get, you can't get more Naughty Dog than him. There were all, there were so many people at this company who were so excited for this expansion of their IP into a new marketplace. There were so many people excited for this move. And then Iron Galaxy comes in, completely shits all over their port, and then basically just leaves Naughty Dog to take the blame for it. Thankfully, that's not entirely what's happening. It seems a lot of people are on the same, you know, everyone's on the same understanding that Iron Galaxy is likely the one most to blame for the technical issues. But then again, at the end of the day, the fact that this game came out in the state that it is in, ultimately that blame falls on Sony and Naughty Dog. If it wasn't ready to come out, it should not have come out. You already delayed it and you already acknowledged there were issues that needed to be fixed, so why didn't you delay it again? And that kind of transitions me to some things I wanted to say about more just 
obviously dumb things Sony is doing with the PlayStation brand on PC, such as, you know, Bloodborne. Where is Bloodborne? Like, why haven't we heard anything about games like Bloodborne or Demon's Souls coming to PC? And I know, you know, I know it's a meme like, oh, a PC player wants Bloodborne, but why is, genuinely, why is there no Bloodborne on PC yet? Literally every single time a new PC port of a PlayStation game is announced, Bloodborne trends on Twitter because people want Bloodborne. There is a giant, giant market for Soulsborne games on the PC. And it seems like Sony is just ignoring that for some reason, and I can't understand why. And before people say, oh, it's because Bloodborne has a bunch of technical issues, and it would be really difficult to get the game up and running, or, you know, the PC port would be technically, you know, it would have a bunch of problems. Well, they released Last of Us, so I don't think that's an excuse anymore. I don't want this video to just turn into, oh, PC player yells at Cloud because Sony doesn't give him what he wants, but it's not so much that I'm upset about the state of these games or the state of PlayStation on this platform. It's more so just that I'm I'm just baffled that one of the biggest brands in gaming with some of the biggest IP in gaming can seemingly be so indifferent and uncaring about a major platform expansion. The only conclusion I can come to is that Sony just doesn't want more money. Like, and I know that's not true. Everyone knows that's not true. Of course Sony wants money. So why are these things happening? Early PlayStation ports did so well, and then they just stopped caring. They just stopped trying. And then when it came time to port their biggest game, the biggest hype, not only did they outsource the port to a company that has proven themselves to be untrustworthy with PC ports, but they couldn't even be fucked to warn people before the game came out, they couldn't be fucked to do any kind of quality assurance, they couldn't be fucked to push the game back another few weeks to make sure it was as good as possible. Like really, what more did you want? Did you want more pre-order numbers? Because I can guarantee you that now, now that this has happened, the next time Sony releases any PC port, you're going to see a massive sales dip because people don't trust you anymore. That's how this works. The PC market isn't like the console market where you can release a dog shit game and that's buggy as fuck and then release another franchise game the next year and people just eat it up. That's not how this market works and Sony's in for a really rude awakening if they don't realize that. Sony seriously needs to put more effort into their ports. They seriously need to start putting more effort into their port marketing. Because the complete lack of marketing with a lot of Sony's PC ports is just baffling to me. Like The Last of Us got a whole bunch of marketing. That was nice. God of War, Spider-Man, those got a whole bunch of marketing. But you know, games like Sackboy, I didn't even know Sackboy was out on PC until after it happened. I didn't know Uncharted 4 was out until like two days before it launched. And then Returnal, a game that should have done incredible on this platform. Returnal should have done amazing on PC. It's like Sony legitimately forgot about it. And it's like, yeah, you put all that marketing effort into The Last of Us, but you didn't, you didn't, you didn't check to see if the thing even fucking worked before you launched it. So why would it, like, why would it matter? I love video games, and I love seeing more people get access to more games. I think that is an objectively and always a good thing. But you know, I, I hate to close my video the same way that Alex closed his video, but it's true. If this is what Sony is going to be doing, if these are the kinds of ports that Sony is going to be putting on PC, just stop. Don't bother. It's not worth it. You are demeaning the platform by doing this, and you are diminishing the value of your own brand by doing this, because PC gamers don't trust you anymore. The Last of Us may genuinely be the worst AAA port of a PC game I've ever seen. Like, this may be the new Arkham Knight. Is that really what you want to go down in history for? Sony needs to start listening to what people want from them. They need to start putting effort into things after they've already made money off a different thing because it, it amazes me that they still think that they can get away with stuff like this and it not hurt their future sales. And they need to immediately, immediately issue refunds and patches for The Last of Us on PC. It is unacceptable that the game launched like this and they should absolutely never work with Iron Galaxy again. Frankly, nobody should.